So are you a Dataflows user? Then this is the month for you. Okay, the Power BI team released last week an update that I think is really worth mentioning. So if you're a user, stay tuned because I'm going to tell you what's new. So hello and welcome back. Here are the news available for you if you are a Dataflow user. And this is actually quite smart of Microsoft what they've done. The first thing, I have my cheat list on here, but the first thing is that they have um, added more custom connectors. They say 47 new custom connectors are available. Now, here's the thing. If you go to powerbi.com, you will not see all of them in the user interface. And the reason for that is because they are supported but they haven't fixed the user interface just yet. So you probably are wondering, okay, Bruce, so how on earth are we going to access them if they are not in the user interface? Well, they are available on Power BI Desktop. So if you are a Power BI Desktop user and if you're not, make sure you download it. You can actually write the connection in Power BI Desktop and then you can copy the code, the M code. You, you know, you go to Advanced Editor and then copy the code and paste it in a blank query on a data set because there is a connector called uh, empty or blank or blank table no blank query is called so just go there and check them out what connectors are there there are quite many but you know you have uh, amazon analysis services you have google analytics you can do backups of google analytics i think it's really good folder yeah you have tons you just i will post the link down below so you can see what sources are available and um, a picture here at least some of them the, the biggest one okay next one what up uh, the connector um it's called a web page you know where you can connect with online sources has been improved so now it allows for basic authentication so you can connect to web services that have uh, where you need a username and a password. So, do that. SQL native queries. So of course, you know, the Microsoft customers, they have a lot of SQL uh, uh, installed, and they would like to be able to connect to SQL using SQL. There's not, unfortunately, I don't know why Power Query is not that wide used. I see it also with my customers that they do crazy stuff in DAX. But for whatever the reason, if you prefer to do SQL, if that's something that you know more, you can actually, using a blank query, you can create and connect to your SQL using SQL. So that is great news, right? Another thing is the Power Query online transformation. It was very limited what you can do in Dataflows. You know that Dataflows uses Power Query as an engine to clean the data. And it was very, very limited what you can do. Well, not anymore. Now, all of the transformations that are possible in Power Query, except for the fuzzy matching, are allowed on data flows. There is a but, and it's the same but with the connectors. You will not be able to see them on the user interface. There will not be buttons. You will have to write M code. If you know M code, you're in luck. If you don't, you go to Power Query Desktop, you create a transformation there and copy and paste the code into the data flow. So, hey, th this is really good. Okay, it's not optimal, but it's a step in the right direction. So you have full capabilities of Power Query on data flows. And I think that is a great, 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 great feature. So, I hope this helped you. And, um, I'll see you again on Friday. We're going to talk about hierarchies. So until then, take care. Bye.